welcome back to Motorcycle Den. And today, we have a special topic for you guys. As many of you know, we recently traded in our 2018 Ultra Limited for this 2020 Road Glide Limited. And man, I, I love this color scheme, especially in the sunlight. And it's kind of overcast, and she's dirty, but... Uh, you know, we've been riding her quite a bit uh, to make up for lost time. Um, and we'll tell you all about that story here in a bit. Uh, what happened uh, to the bike. Um, what happened at the dealership. And what happened when uh, Harley uh, Motor Company got involved. So, stay tuned guys. We'll be right back. All right guys. Um, well, we purchased this 2020 Road Glide Limited about, what was it? Uh, it was on August 6th. Yep. So just barely over a month ago. We purchased it on a Thursday night. Uh, we rode it. What? Home. Home. And uh, Friday night, we rode it for probably, what, a half an hour? Yeah. Maybe. And then Saturday, we was going for a ride. We probably got it eh, maybe halfway into it. And uh, we noticed the red security light was on and then also notice that the uh, turn signal was the uh, indicator was flashing really quick so I thought man we better pull over so we pulled over to investigate and uh, now if, you, if you're unfamiliar there's lights on the side of the trunk and across the back of it and then you have a brake light under. yeah under the trunk Yes. So, uh, when you would turn the right turn signal on, all the lights would flash. All the lights all the way across the trunk, the sides, and the brake light. So I think, man, that's not good. So I called the dealer immediately. And the smell. Yeah, it did have like a smell. You, you, could, you could smell a little bit. It kind of smelled like electrical or something. Um, oh, her. Her. yes, yeah, it was great. So we called the dealer and uh, I set up an appointment to have it looked at. They actually came and picked it up because uh, it was only two days old. So I, I, was, I appreciated it. Uh, so they came and picked it up, and what that was on a uh, Tuesday. 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 And our appointment, appointment. our appointment's for Wednesday. And then you called them Friday. Okay, so I had you heard nothing, so you called them Friday. Okay, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, so I called to question about the bike, and you were supposed to call you back. Yeah, this is then told me to write all this stuff down. I didn't do it, but you know. Luckily, I remember. He just said they were looking into it, trying to figure out what was wrong. And that was it. That's all he told you. He didn't really tell you much beyond that. So, it, it, we're into next week. The following week. And... Hearing cricket. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm not hearing anything, so... I think I called up again. Yep. And... On Tuesday. And I think they said they were working on it, or going to be. Yep, that's when they said they called Harley. We find out from the dealer that, uh, yeah, they had talked to Harley Davidson. They told us they had got, you know, got it fixed, and that we could come and pick it up. Harley said that they could uh, go ahead and release the bike. That it was a light bulb. That thing, weird thing. Yeah. And it so wasn't grounded. They, yeah. So I, you know, I don't. All they did was replace the bulb, so it, it kind of didn't make sense to me. 
But, you know, I was trying to be patient and decent about everything. I was aggravated. I mean, you buy a bike, two days later, it's broke. I mean... He yeah. was then. He I, was upset. I was upset. Which anybody would be. But I, I was trying to... I was trying to I be know. decent to the dealer. He was. I leave the dealership. This was, what, Friday, Friday when I picked yep. the bike up. So it was a week and a day after we bought the bike. So I leave the dealership, and I'm t I am look down. You know, I just took them for word, their word that it was fixed. And Which I guess, you should be able to do. I guess this is what irritated me, because we, we've had previous problems, and there was different people that worked there. With the service department. Yes, with the service department. There was different, a lot of, they re basically almost hired all new people. They assured me that everything was taken care of, their top-notch service. So, I looked down, the red security light's on, and I knew that wasn't right. And I looked, and the turn signal wasn't, it was blinking fast. But I get off the bike, and I look, and it was, it was blinking like it should. I think, like, well, wait a minute, something, something's still not right. So I went on home. I should have went straight back, but I went on home, and we immediately took the bike back up there. I had to pick up Mrs. Den because I didn't know what was going to happen, and I didn't, you know, I needed someone else there to be able to bring the car home. I had left. And he was mad. He needed to calm down. I was upset because, yeah, I didn't want to go. You just picked it up. Yeah. They should have test rated it and make sure it was right. So anyways, we go straight back, and they're like, okay, well, we're going to try to work you in sometime next, you know, beginning of next week. And, and I don't understand, I mean, you know, it's Friday. So, but I, I'm upset. I'm th it kind of acted like, I, I mean, I'm thinking, I should be, like, the first one to get in. It's a brand new bike, 30-something thousand dollars. You're not happy when you spend that kind of money, brand new vehicle, and... Can't ride, can't ride it. So, I didn't hear anything from them. And I don't know, I called up uh, like Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. I think it might have been Wednesday. Yep. Because we had heard nothing until Wednesday. So I call up and they said that they looked at it and they were, I guess, basically they were unsure of what was going on. So I think it was like Thursday or Friday, wasn't it, that I called back. I think it was Thursday. Thursday. It was Thursday. It was two weeks back since we bought it. That I called back the next day. Because I'm thinking, man, it just seems, I mean, it's already two weeks. And nothing's, nothing's getting done that I'm hearing about. You know, so I call back Thursday, and he's like, I'm pretty sure they're working on it. And uh, he said, we're going to get it taken care of. And I'm, by this time, I already lost, I lost all confidence in the dealership to get this taken care of. Because it just sounded like I was getting blown off. So I called Harley Davidson. You know, I'm like, look, this is the situation. I feel like it's not being handled like it should. I want is fixed. I want my motorcycle. You know, I, honestly, personally, I think I should have been offered a new one and they could do whatever what they wanted with this one. That That's what I think should have happened. But, you know, that obviously isn't what happened. The guy was very nice. So I talked to him a while, you know, explained the situation, explained, you know, I don't know if they know what's going on with the bike. He put you on hold to call them. He's, yeah, he said, let me let me call the dealership and find out what's going on. So, he calls the dealership, and he said he gets back on the phone. He's like, look, I told him, you know, make sure to keep you in the loop. And he talked to a few people there, a couple people. And so, you know, that made me feel a little bit better. So, the dealership calls me, and they said that... You know, that they are going to be talking uh, with Harley-Davidson, the engineers, over the uh, phone. 
Yeah, you and were. They're so glad you called Harley. Yeah, they said they said that they were glad that I called Harley. That it helped, you know, get things taken care. Of. You know, the dealership should have been on the ball and getting this fixed. I shouldn't even. Ha I, I I don't know. I can't say, but I feel like it would have been drug on if I had not called Harley Davidson. So, the engineers were gonna work with the tech at the dealership. I think the next day they called me and said they're working, they're working with them, they're trying to figure out what's going on. Well. That's when they were going to uh, send in um, overnight the new computer. They were going to, yes, they said they were going to overnight the, and I don't know if ECM or ECU, I don't know, some computer part of it. Well, I don't think that happened, and I will we'll tell you why in a minute, but they said they were going to overnight this part. This was Friday, when they're telling us this, or Friday or Saturday, I think it was Saturday, actually, might have called me. And, uh... You know, he said it would be like Monday or Tuesday. I forget when, because, you know, right. the next day was Sunday. I didn't hear anything from him for like a day or two, I think. I but wait. they said if that didn't fix it, then Harley's tech will be flown in to help them find out what's going on. But they couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Well, here's the thing. They did fly in Harley's tech, a uh, tech from Harley-Davidson. And when I got a hold of them next they said they've been working on, on it you know all day they're trying to figure it out they flashed the computer so I'm thinking I guess they kind of reboot or reset the computer I'm thinking well if they've flown in a new one why, do do that? why would they have needed to do that I, I don't know that's just what I'm thinking at this point so at this point, I had, I don't know if it was that day or I think it was the next day they said they were talking about replacing the wire harness, the main wire harness on the bike. Because they couldn't figure out, basically they couldn't figure out what was going on. They had no idea. And they always tried replacing some parts, I guess, off of another bike on the showroom floor. And, or swapping them just to see, you know, one that they knew was working to see, and that, that didn't do anything. So, they were talking about replacing the main wiring harness. And, uh, which, I don't know. I don't know how involved that is, but I want, that didn't sound too great. I'm thinking, man, you know, when you start taking apart stuff, it just, it never seems to be the same as it was when you first buy it. I think after a day or two, that's what they did. They, I think... I think their tech was, were, you know, communicating with the engineers and everything at Harley, and they were trying to figure this out. So I guess they decided, like I said, to replace the wire harness. So that's that's what they wound up doing. That was like Monday, Tuesday. Some they called you Wednesday, saying that they did the main wire harness and then. The wire harness to the fairing. Interconnect, I think. Uh, interconnect harness or something that runs yeah. up to the fairing. So you'd be able to pick it up Thursday. Yeah, they said they just they, they got it done. They just need to clean it up because all the work that they had been doing to it. And uh, I could come and get it Thursday, which was three weeks at this point. I wasn't you thrilled, I mean? but I was happy that they said they got it fixed. They said they took it out. They test rode it. Brought it back, ran diagnostics on it, make sure everything was running right. They said they couldn't find anything wrong. Everything appeared to be working properly, and uh, I should be good to go. Granted, was I unhappy about it? Yes, I wasn't happy. I bought a brand new bike, and for three weeks, four weeks, I don't know, three weeks or whatever it was, I couldn't ride it. Yes. And uh, yeah, I wasn't happy about that. You know, my first payment was coming up, and I, you know, I only rode it like once really I, I went and picked it up and uh, everything's been working great on it and I was happy to have it back finally I'm glad 
that Harley Davidson sent their tech out. When I called, the guy was very nice. He said if I had any questions, he gave me a, a number. I forget what they call it, but uh, and I could call, ask any questions I wanted. Harley Davidson, they did step up, take care of it. It's not like they left the dealership on their own and things went on for a month or two. I mean, they got their guy out there uh, and they got it fixed, taken care of. And, you know, last I had heard that they're going to send the wire harness, I guess, back to their engineers so they can inspect it and see actually what, what happened. So hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody else. But I'm happy to have it. Uh, it's running good. Uh, everything's working like it should on it. I, but too, don't feel bad if you have to call Harley Corporate. They treat us pretty good. I mean, you know, I've heard uh, things other than that, but my experience, I mean, Harley was very, very nice. Uh, they stepped up, took care of everything. Uh, they made sure the bike got fixed, and, uh, you know, I got it back. So, and the dealership has been treating me pretty good. I don't want to say what, but they did give me a little something for my trouble, and I appreciate that. Um, I really do. And they could have just blew me off and, and been like, you know, hey, you got your bike back. The story has a good ending. I have no idea where we're at. Oh, you don't? Heck no, I have no idea. I'm just talking and <laughs> turning. <laughs> so, uh... Well, so now that we got the bike back, now he's wanting to change some things, get different exhaust, put different things on it. You know, uh, I didn't... Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, huh? So, I, I... So we will be doing a review, too, coming up of the Ultra Limited versus the Rogue Glide Yeah, kind of a comparison. But, that is our story. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, we may reach a thousand subs by the time this video is out, but if not, we are, like, really close. I think we are at 997 last I looked. So, uh, we're getting close. And we appreciate everyone for subscribing to our channel and everybody that comments on our videos interacting with us. It's uh, much appreciated, guys. So, uh, we'll uh, talk to you guys later. See ya.